that we should tell you about in today's appointment. First, the new and very young, I might add, Navy chief has no active military experience. Secondly, Sean O'Keefe, that's his name, will be acting Secretary of the Navy. His appointment is only good for 120 days. And so in this election year, that means there will be no congressional confirmation hearing. And that means that Democrats will have a harder time keeping the Navy sex scandal on the front pages during this presidential campaign. This is the new man now steering the U.S. Navy, 36-year-old Sean O'Keefe, a comptroller at the Pentagon, a bean counter, the man in charge of the military's money. Not exactly the John Wayne type. And that's exactly what Secretary of Defense Dick Cheney and the Bush administration apparently want, as they try to recover from the sex abuse scandal known as tailhook. I'd look at the tailhook situation as, a, as a, an isolated incident. I do not think it's typical of the United States Navy. Uh, I don't think it's typical by any means of all the people who attend a tailhook. The tailhook scandal started in Las Vegas last September. At least 26 women were mauled as they ran a gauntlet of Navy pilots who were apparently drunk on booze and high from their Desert Storm battles. As I was pushed down this hallway, I mean every man in that hallway got a shot at me. I knew absolutely that this, had, this was unsatisfactory. This was, what happened to me was criminal and that it had to be stopped. Last month, the incident was made public, and Congress held hearings. Navy Secretary Lawrence Garrett III was forced to resign. Cheney passed up naming Acting Secretary Dan Howard. He also passed up naming a woman to the post. Women make up 10% of the Navy, and some analysts say naming a woman would have helped solve the Navy's problems. You need to send a message to the uniformed Navy that you're not going to put up with their attitude uh, toward women, and there were plenty of qualified women out there that you could have picked to send this uh, message. Today at the Long Beach Naval Station, sailors let their feelings be known about this latest controversy. You never know. Maybe it's, it's something positive, you know, coming from the outside. Maybe he could give us a few better suggestions on things we can do to improve and, you know, something that the, uh, the old one couldn't do. Well, I want somebody in there who knows what they're doing, you know, who knows about the military and how to, you know, how to make the Navy work to its fullest capability. You know, I don't want somebody in there who just knows how 2 plus 2 is 4. Back here live in front of the Long Beach Naval Station, Secretary Cheney has vowed to continue a fight against sexual harassment in the military. Case in point, recently four top gun pilots at the Miramar Naval Air Station in San Diego were apparently disciplined for allegedly throwing some kind of lewd party in San Diego at the base. And because of that, partly because of that, the Secretary has ordered all military personnel over the next few months to engage in a one-day training seminar to avoid sexual harassment. Reporting live in front of the Long Beach Naval Station, I'm Bill Ritter. David, back to you. All right, thank you very much, Bill. And real quickly, rain coming down as well out there, right? Oh, yeah, it's, it's not heavy, but a uh, slight drizzle, yeah. A little bit. All right, thanks very much, Bill.